friends, I am Rita Ginsburg, and today I will be following a tutorial by Bethany Fields on how to paint the ocean sunset using soft pastels. I will include the link to her tutorial and to her Patreon page in the description area below, so be sure to check it out. I am more of a realist painter, but I love Bethany's impressionistic style, and I'm hoping to learn some of her methods and techniques with this tutorial. So I don't know how this will turn out, but here it goes. I am using UART sanded paper, which is a 600 grit surface. And I've chosen some colors similar to the palette of colors that Bethany selected. The first step will be to draw a horizon line approximately one-third from the bottom of the paper. This will give us a larger area for the sky and sunset. I'm going to begin with a very dark blue. It almost looks black, but it's a very dark shade of blue for the darkest parts of our clouds. I will be painting the cloud shapes first, and then I will cut the sky into the background of the clouds. I will be adding some purple and also a shade of blue to help create this dramatic sky. I will be using some pipe foam to blend this area together. You can buy the pipe foam at your local hardware store and it comes in long strips that you can cut down to usable sizes. So now I am scrubbing this area to help fill in the tooth of the paper and finish blending this first layer. The pipe foam works very nicely for creating wispy clouds too. I want to pay a little more attention to my dark clouds. I, I want to begin to give them some more shape and fullness in the top layers of the clouds. I will again scrub this area a little bit more with my pipe foam. So I have added my second layer of color to the clouds and I will stop blending for a few minutes and switch to my sky area. I will cut into the clouds to create the sky shining through the clouds. This process is still rather loose, but I'm excited to see how it all comes together. Cutting the sky into the clouds is a new technique for me, so I hope I can get this right. I am blending and scrubbing the sky some more, and I'm already beginning to see the depth developing in the texture of the sky. Before I blend this area more, I'm going to add a coral color to the horizon skyline and then lightly blend it up into the skyline. I'm going to cut into my clouds a little bit more with my shade of blue and then I'll begin the blending process to shape the colors within the clouds. I really like how the pipe foam creates the wispy texture in the sky. It almost appears as if there's rain coming down from the clouds. I will use it a little bit more to blend some of this coral color into the colors in the sky. 
I am working with my very dark blue again to define the horizon line. The ocean water is usually very dark at the horizon at sunset, but it still reflects the sunlight as the sun goes down, so I'll blend some of that coral color into the background. These dark bands I'm placing represent the shadows created by the distant waves rolling in. I'll blend this a little bit and then I'm going to use some ultramarine blue to gently roll along the top of each dark band to create the wave texture. I'm going to use a brownish maroon color for the water between this wave. The sunset color still reflect in the water, creating a more brownish color. I'm adding some more ultramarine blue to the water, and then I'll add a little bit more coral color to create some more sunlight reflection in the water. I will use my pipe foam to pull the color down into the water. I will blend it a little bit more to create some soft highlights in the water. I use some very light orange in the area where the sun is setting. The foam pipe insulation works really well creating reflections in the water. I am going to work on the foreground waves by adding some dark shadows to the waves that are rolling into the beach. I'm going to develop the foreground waves by adding some black shadows to the rolling waves. And I will begin to add some color to the waves in the front as they begin to roll over. I'm starting with my dark cobalt blue uh, at the base of the wave and then I will switch to my ultramarine blue to the forefront wave to give it some volume as the wave rolls over. I am using the side of my pastel stick to carefully tap and pull down some of the color into the waves. I'm going to add a dark greenish blue to the foreground water and then I'll blend it with my foam pipe insulation. I want to bring some more highlights to the top of my waves by using my very light blue pastel stick. I am tapping very lightly with the side of my stick to pull down some of the light color spilling over the top of the waves. Then I will use my white pastel last to create some of the white highlights reflecting on the crest of the waves. So now I'm going to add some more sun reflections in the sky and then I'll bring that color into the surface of the water to create some dramatic reflections. I 
think I'm going to add a little bit more of this turquoise blue between these two waves to give it a little more color. I'd like to add some darker shadows between the waves as the dark clouds above are also reflecting on the water. Now I can add a few more reflecting lights to the water. I also will clean up the edge of my horizon line using my rubber tipped uh, blending stick. I also need to touch up the color a little bit along the edge but that's easily done with the edge of my pastel sticks to cover those areas. I also want to use a very light yellow to indicate where the sun was setting. And then I'll add a little bit of sun highlights to the water. To complete the foreground water, I'm going to add trails of water with my light blue pastel pencil to indicate the water washing toward the shoreline. I'm going to use my ruler again to sharpen the horizon line a little bit. So I think I have finished the tutorial and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration on how to paint the ocean sunset following Bethany Fields tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please press like and comment below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.